Item number SCP-4554 Index Liquid Sunshine Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-4554 is to be stored in a standard container in the anomalous items wing of Site-34. Access is restricted to Level 2 and above personnel, with open testing allowed. No more than one liter of SCP-4554-1 may be consumed per person per day. Testing is to take place during daylight hours in External Testing Zone 34-4554-A, which is a closed courtyard adjacent to Site-34. Description SCP-4554 is an unbranded black automatic drip coffee machine that has been subjected to numerous modifications of various natures. These include The filter basket has been replaced with complex quartz lens array held together with struts formed of aluminium brass and electrum. The reservoir has been replaced with copper pipes and is cooled to approximately minus 20 degrees Celsius by unknown means. The warming plate has been replaced with a granite plate. Removal resulted in no change in SCP-4554 effect. The boiler is non-functional, owing to greatly modified internal electronics. Effect unknown, but is necessary for creation of SCP-4554-1. List truncated for brevity. Upon powering and activation of SCP-4554, average light intensity directly above SCP-4554 will increase by approximately 50 lumens. After a period of exactly 500 seconds, the 1.5 liter carafe will begin to fill with a pale orange liquid designated SCP-4554-1. Attempts to determine the source of SCP-4554-1 within SCP-4554 have so far failed. Once the carafe is full, SCP-4554 will automatically deactivate, and SCP-4554-1 can be poured as a liquid into any suitable container. SCP-4554-1 will only manifest if SCP-4554 is directly exposed to sunlight. SCP-4554-1 emits constant low-level light, approximately 10 lumens, and behaves as a low-viscosity fluid. SCP-4554-1 has a density of 2 kg per cubic meter and is entirely opaque. SCP-4554-1 may be consumed by humans with no negative effects. Subjects who consume SCP-4554-1 report improved moods. Further testing has revealed that subjects have greatly increased vitamin D levels and no traces of SCP-4554-1. Further, subjects suffering from psoriasis and similar conditions of the skin showed immediate relief from symptoms upon consumption of SCP-4554-1. SCP-4554-1 is physically odorless. However, subjects near to a sample will report the smell of warmed oranges. Whether this is a property of SCP-4554-1 or simply a placebo effect has not yet been conclusively proven. Consuming more than one liter of SCP-4554-1 is hazardous in most cases, resulting in hypercalcemia from vitamin D overdose and causing the skin, eyes, and immune system to become damaged in ways consistent with overexposure to sunlight. This effect is entirely consistent to regular effects of sunburn, etc., despite the vastly different causes. How this is possible without causing disproportionate damage to internal organs remains to be determined. Addenda On 08-11-20 Mobile Task Force Lambda-14 One Star Reviewers Raided a location of interest owned and operated by Ambrose Restaurants GOI-116 and recovered a number of anomalous objects. SCP-4554 was among the recovered items, as well as 14 liters of SCP-4554-1. Documents recovered as part of the same raid indicate the existence of other instances of SCP-4554 and that the group possesses some means to produce them as needed. Prior to the raid, and currently at other locations, SCP-4554-1 was sold as a beverage to customers of the restaurant. 
Other anomalies used in this way have yet to be recovered. On 23-02-23 liters of SCP-4554-1 were distributed to various researchers for testing purposes. It was discovered that SCP-4554-1 is composed primarily of near-stationary electrons. Under the view of a micro-camera, it was observed that these electrons periodically spontaneously convert to photons of wavelength 597 nanometers and move approximately 20 micrometers. Upon ingestion by laboratory mice, all electrons underwent this conversion process, and SCP-4554-1 dispersed. The coloration of the pseudo-liquid is due to this process. However, there is currently no working theory for how this process is achieved. This process, while poorly understood, has not successfully been applied to instances of SCP-2022, and it must be therefore assumed that the process used to capture sunlight is different.